Welcome back to the Wubulous world of Legos, guys and girls, otherwise known as Legos. Thanks for all the huge support on the last part. Keep smashing the like button if you want to see more videos in this series. And thanks for the tips in the comments. I found out that I need to go to Criminal Mastermind, switch up his color drink, put in some red polish, and shoot this door thing way up high. Uh, which should drop another one of these reflectors for us and allow us to complete the circuit. Uh, which I was having such a freaking tricky time doing last time, but now, thanks to your advice, we are in great shape. And then I can push this one back here. Um, this needs to be shot with white. Okay, so we gotta switch it back so it has a reflective surface. Get some white goo in our gun. That doesn't sound weird. Alright, now then, if I can just... I have to stand in the beam. Oh, not quite, but all right. Laser Power of both. Connected. Oh, limited shuttle systems activated. <gasps> it's the moon buggy. All right, now I gotta get way up high. <gasps> Elevator is ready for action. Angry policemen that should know I'm a policeman, but apparently they don't, because I'm wearing an astronaut suit. So I have to do some uh. Some calisthenic uh, crushing of these guys and put them in their place for police officers. Anyways, apparently that rocket is just a decoy and really inside is the moon buggy. Perfect toy. Oh, that's a smasher crasher. Whoops, a daisy. All right, in we go. I'm ready. I'm in. Disney ride number six. Carry us to the top. Oh, what is that up there? I don't have the jetpack. I still need my double trouble jump. People keep saying there is no double jump, but I'm, I have to imagine there should be something similar. Maybe it's not a double jump, but something. Hey, how are you scientists, man? Whoa. Crazy leaping. Um, I don't have that power unlocked yet, do I? Um, yeah, I don't have an electric ability. Let's see. Criminal man, shoot this. No. No? Alright then. We'll just go over here and break some stuff up. Break some stuff up. Access the secret chamber. And go inside. And it's strange that it's now, what, July, and this is still the best Wii U game of the year, I believe? Um, whoops. We, um, we've got a couple good ones coming out. In the late summer, early fall, Pikmin 3, Wonderful 101, and then obviously the onslaught of releases um, for later this year. But it's strange to me that it's seven months into the year, and we're, we really only had one major Wii U release, which is this. I mean, there's been a bunch of multi-platform stuff, but if you're talking actual Wii U releases that are exclusive or at least prominently designed for the system, it's just this one, which is so strange to me. I understand that it hasn't sold up to par, but... How will a system ever solve to part if there's no games for it? It's like, it happens constantly. There's these strange predicaments where, you know, the, the, the publishers don't want to support it because it doesn't sell enough, but then if they don't support it, it's not going to sell any, and so it's a vicious cycle. It's like, if they would just realize, put out a couple good games, and then you could have a huge, crazy, awesome seller, like, why not just... I know it's risky and, and such, but why not just put in the effort, make a couple good games, and then who knows, you could create a a new market that could really feed, you know, your your studio, your whatever, and they don't want to do that, though. They just are like, hey, it's not selling, we're not going to make games, and then, oh, it's not selling because it has no games, therefore we're not going to make games again, and everyone just gets kind of screwed. I'm just going to jump down because I don't know what else to do, and he lands on his feet like a freaking Savannah cat. All right. Da, 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 moon buggy, moon buggy, moon buggy, moon. Bingo. Aw, oh, yeah. It controls really weird. Turning, turning, turning. Grab this moon buggy. Pressure plate, open the doors. Let us be great. And we out. Hey, that's my car. It's not your car. You are so possessive. Fine, it's our car, but it isn't his. Come on! Uh-oh. Hmm. 
Even spacemen don't want to break their Change mugs. Men better be waiting for me at the dock. I hope so. Stealing this expensive moon buggy straight from NASA. Lego headquarters astronauty level is complete. Free play unlocked. Collected a couple of shield pieces. I don't even really know what those do for us, but. Oh, watch the things total to 76. And now we'll move on to some other trick. I wonder if we're going to be able to turn Chan in at any point. Um, or if he is going to just lead us on to the next evil villain who we have to follow in the footsteps of to get closer to Rex, how that's all going to work. Nobody knows, nobody knows. Um, I have this actually, this game is, I downloaded off the eShop, if, if you guys remember, and the load times are still pretty long. I wonder if they're worse on disc. A lot of stuff for like Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 is, is definitely improved if you have installed in the system. Um, so while these load times aren't too bad, I can only imagine how crappy they could be if you just pop the disc in. Or maybe Wii U isn't optimized like that, I don't really know 100%. Driver, bad news. My men aren't waiting for you at the dock. Yeah, I can see that. They're running late. And by running late, I mean... Still sat here on their behinds! Oh, they've actually gone. Who am I going to shout at now? They'll be here soon, right? I guess so. Just don't let the moon buggy get damaged until they get there. Oh, I'm going out to the street so I can yell at some strangers. See you, driver. See you, driver. That sounds just like Chase McCain, and we don't know it yet. All right, what are we gonna do? Avoid Apollo Island security until Chan's men arrive. Hey, that's whoa! Oh God! Stop breaking me! Uh oh! Uh oh! Moon men! Moon men! Moon men! Oh, darn it! The moon buggy has been destroyed. Oh, I thought it could swim. It can freaking survive outer space, but it can't swim. It feels a heck of a lot slower than when I drove it inside. There, it's kind of picking up speed. Okay, 53 seconds of avoidance is what we've got to do. I'm just gonna drive all over this entire freaking facility. Whoa, no, 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 no. They're nowhere near me though, so we've got some time. I'm just gonna hide. Do you think I can hide? Do -do 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 Look at this, just showing off. I stole your moon buggy. Probably not the greatest idea. They probably have space lasers and or evil alien Ewoks to send after us. But, um, I'm going to do my best to avoid them. They're all coming, as you can see. So I'm going to spook them and go back the way I came. Ouch. Ah, I keep running into... Whoa, maybe that was a good idea to run into the pillars. No, it wasn't. Okay, let's go this way where they can't fit. <laughs> ah! Seven, six... Head back towards the gate. Trans men, I know you're late, but thank goodness you're getting here now. Oh. Attention, this is security. Everyone return to base. What? Okay. Oh. Secret voice messages of trickery and doom. Trans men. They are some sneaky little devils. Alright, take the moon buggy to the dock, deliver it. No, 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 don't fall. Oh, God. Okay. Luckily, it's bouncy. It's bouncy, but not buoyant. And it goes very slow in reverse. Alright. Deliver this moon buggy unto the evil, unscrupulous gang members across the bridge. Don't want to have it take a bath, because that would be a disaster. About time, guys. I wonder what they're going to do with it. It's not like it's like a super fast car or can fly or anything like that. I guess maybe he just wants it to ride around like his own golf court kind of. We'll golf take it cart. from here. Don't follow us. All right, bye. Chapter 8, the rescue. Rescuing moon, moon buggy, maybe? What are we rescuing? McCain. Are you anywhere near downtown? Uh, sure, Chief. Why? 
We got reports that a gang is trying to abduct Forrest Blackwell. Uh -oh. They've got him on top of a building near the downtown science museum. I'm on my way, Chief. Has backup been dispatched? Yes, but by the time they get there, it'll be too late. So hurry up! <gasps> I really don't want to get on the wrong side of Forrest Blackwell. I don't know who he is, but we're about to go save him from his downtown abductors. As this moon thing does its circular Simon Says pattern. And we bust open the box, drop down a man? What is this creature? What, what, what are you? Oh my god, who is this and where is he going? An alien, an alien has been unleashed into the city, oh my god. We better stop it. How did it get here? <laughs> Come back, alien. Alien scum, I gotcha. All right, get down. Aliens caught. One us. Okay, apparently, little mini game for the astronaut costume is collecting alien scum lords. Kind of reminded me of something from Men in Black. If you aren't there soon, I'll bust you down so low that you'll have to salute police dogs. Okay, I'm going. I need a car. How about a fancy one? Red suits me well. This Get out of here, emergency. lady. It's an emergency. Watch out, Tat. Ooh, look at that. All right. Let's take the underpass. Follow the lime green trail of lollipop tops, otherwise known as Lego chiclets. And uh, hopefully get there before Forrest Blackwell is doomed. I don't know what he's doomed to, but maybe something. Oh, I guess kidnapping. Have we seen this guy before and I'm blanking? I know who he is. Forrest Blackwell. Oh. oh. Uh, I need to find a blue color swapper. Okay. Blue color swapper. Color, color, color swapper, where are you? Um, there's a nifty red brick. I'm gonna, hey, I know you can't do that. I like how he puts all of his uh, his tools away when he's in the other costume. Like, they're not really with him, you know what I mean? They're only, only when he wears a specific outfit. Where is this color swapper, you guys think? Um, I need a swap machine. It's gotta be close by. They wouldn't have it be super far away. Would they? Would they? Would they do that to us? I gotta climb up there, but I can't. Maybe there's one inside this little... Ooh, color swap shop. How do I get inside? Open sesame, open sesame, open sesame, open sesame. I can't... Can I astronaut my way in? Guessing this is what we gotta do. Oh, it's gonna zoom me in there. Yes, beautiful. Into the lovely shop of color swap, where we can hopefully uh, get the blue that we need and save the. When it's at that angle, you can't really see what's in his gun. Um, oh, there's also dynamite here. I'm gonna grab it just because. He holds on to it, so it's not like it's gonna impede our progress, but. Um, maybe there's a statue around or something that could be blowed up. Oh, can I go up here? No. It's blocked off. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Put another coin in, baby. What if you press the green button instead of red for dynamite? Alright, it's not in here, is it? No. Okay. Teleport out. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I go back to anywhere to put this around here. I don't really see a spot right now. We'll just hold on to it. Okay. Let's go paint this wall blue. Bingo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Crazy obstacle course time. Reach the top of the building. Find Forest Blackwell. I'm going to feel like a complete dweebus if I've seen him before. For some reason, I don't remember seeing him, but maybe we have? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just get there, and then we'll find out for ourselves. Go, 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 boing. Vault. Vault and jump. Super leap. Uh-oh. There's Blackwell. I'm being abducted! Against my will! Can anyone 
hear me? Yeah, I can. I mean, other than my abductors. Uh oh. Although he doesn't. Stop him! <gasps> A bearded man. He doesn't really seem like he's in that much danger. Oh my god, he's painted in blue. That was awesome. Um. <laughs> I don't think we've seen Blackwell. I was gonna say maybe he's that guy we drove around before the rich dude, but it doesn't seem like him. Does it? I think it's a different guy. Sit down on the floor. I'm gonna shoot you some more. Get blue, baby. Okay, he's trapped. So you don't want to be painted? I will just ball you up and kick you into the wall, brother. Ugh. All right, we good? Collect all the gemstones. Almost at a million. How awesome is that? Time to play some Simon Says on the hunt. Yellow, blue, red, green, yeah. Yellow, blue, red, green, yeah. Da, 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 da. And down warps something to climb on. Always a good, always something good to have. Bam. Color swapper gun. Whoop. Lots of cool abilities so far. The color swapper gun is one of my favorites. It started off kind of lame. But I like how it can like not only change the color of objects, but modify their interactability, modify sort of their properties, stuff like that. I gotta get over there. I don't think I can make that jump though. Good leap, good leap, Chase. I'm practicing. All right, here we go. Collect all the chit. Let's <gasps> more bearded creepers. Get blue. I'm gonna grab you, or one of the two, or both. Yeah, double takedown. How do you like that? Ugh. This guy reminds me of Jim Henson. If Jim Henson was a criminal, which he's not, he's an awesome dude. Muppet man extraordinaire. Hey, can you? Can you sit down or something? What are you doing? There we go. I don't have time for this, buddy. Ooh. What? Did he just fall? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Did he really just do that? Oh, Chase, you dastardly foe. Alright, I'll get us back to where we were and we'll resume the obstacle course challenge from that spot. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're excited for more and want to see how this whole Forest Blackwell situation wraps up, definitely smash that like button and I'll bring you another video soon. Until that time, though, guys, girls, thanks so much for all your support. Thanks for enjoying and watching the videos. Drink some hot chocolate. We'll see you all later.